Close your eyes and get in touch with your breath. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths and see how it feels. And try to take that as your anchor. If anything comes to pull out the anchor, we'll go back and put the anchor back in place. Don't let your ship just follow the currents, because the currents of your thoughts can go in all directions. Sometimes they go north, sometimes they go south, east, west, and then you see those maps of the ships that are stuck in the ice up in the Arctic. It's all these little zigzag lines going all over the place. And we thought sometimes we think that when we're engaged in our thinking, we're accomplishing a lot, but oftentimes we find ourselves back where we were before, or even worse. So it's good to be able to step out of your thoughts and not go with those currents. So make the breath your solid anchor. A thought comes up, and you don't have to go with it. You stay right where you are and watch it. Okay, where would this thought have gone? Most of the times you see it doesn't go anywhere in particular, so you're better off staying right here because the mind gains a sense of well-being when it's settled down in the present moment. It's healing for the mind, too. You don't have to keep jumping around all the time. You've got a good place where you can stay, a good place where you can settle in, get some rest. Of course, there's some work that involves in getting this rest, and it's the work, actually, that strengthens the mind. And the work of being mindful, in other words, remembering you want to stay here. Alertness is keeping watch over what's happening. Because you notice a lot of the drifting of the mind happens when you're not really paying attention to what you're doing. You suddenly find yourself on the other side of the world and you wonder, how did you get there? So try to stay solidly right here. As for the currents of thoughts, occasionally there will be a useful current that will come in your direction. You go with it. But it's good to be able to have the choice not to go every time something comes up. That way you go only with the currents that pull you in the right direction. And then when you've done with that thinking, we can come back to where you were bef before, with the mind better off than it was. But the important thing is that you keep the mind here as your default setting, and run with your thoughts only when really necessary, only when they're really useful. This is where you find you can deal with a lot of the clutter in the mind, a lot of the unnecessary baggage that we somehow keep on collecting, 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 weighing ourselves down with. So try to appreciate the importance of staying right here. The present moment is not always a wonderful moment, but it is home. You can make it your home, working with the breath, making the breath comfortable. So even when things in the present moment otherwise are not going well, at least the mind has this internal sense of well-being. And that'll see you through an awful lot.